Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Well, today's video, we're gonna be testing out the Neo Charge and also the electrical connections. I hit the charger, uh, a Neo Charge up a few weeks ago and I've been charging my vehicle with it. And this is kind of in response to some comments I got in my comment section, some good comments. One of the comments have to do with heat and the possibility of a fire. And so what I, hear, I have here is my uh, temperature detector. So I'm going, I'm going to be plugging my vehicle in and I'm going to test the temperatures of the, the charger and also the Neo Charge uh, because that's where the majority of the heat is gonna be coming from. Uh, do, I'm gonna do it before and after. And I did let my charge go down, it's around 50%, really not that bad, but I'm gonna be charging up to 80%. And so this thing is gonna be running probably uh, all night until I leave. And so it should be at the max heat generation. So it should be running for at least six hours. And I'm just gonna plug in right here. And this is set up on the timer and I'm just gonna uh, test this here and right here showing the temperature of 67.6 .6 degrees and then just to test this here And that's showing uh, 67 degrees and I have the Neo charge here and I'm gonna go ahead and test this and You see this thing is you can see the hot spot right there And this is where most of the heat is gonna be coming from so just depending on where I point it, you know, I'm going to point it right here and you're looking at about 100 degrees, 102 degrees. But I tell you, it barely feels warm to the touch, but, and so we're going to see what this temperature gets up to and this thing is jumping around. So, uh, and this dryer was running, you see, it doesn't feel. Yeah, so it was running, but this, the clothes are dry here, so it's probably a little while ago. And so this is uh, pretty interesting that this showing this much heat. Uh, even though this thing has been off, I'm not ex exactly sure how long it could have been running. So, uh, but this is what we have. This is a point of reference. And we're gonna check this uh, in the morning uh, when I come back, just to see what the temperature's gonna be. And so I'll see you all back in the morning. Okay, I'm back and it is about 3.30 in the morning and I'm about ready to work out. And I just wanted to test the temperature right now. I'll test it again after I, right before I'm ready to leave. So, uh, first of all, let's look and see how much energy we put into, into the, uh, the pack. It's been charging for four hours and 26 minutes. And let's put uh, 22 kilowatt hours into the pack. And right now, it's charging 11 miles an hour and it put 47 miles onto the vehicle. And let's see, it's estimated to end in three hours and 33 minutes. So it should be charging by the time I leave. Now it's set to charge up to uh, 80%. So now let's check and see how much heat I generated with my charge. I'm gonna test my charging port, the charger and the Neo charge and see. And I'm just gonna test this and I'm gonna put and this is showing at its hottest spot, 71.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in the garage is about 72, well, 63 degrees. And I'm gonna test this, you see this is glowing pretty good. And this is 84 degrees, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see if there's a hot spot on here. No, uh, around 84, 85 degrees. And then I test this here. And this is showing, let's see, I'm trying to get the hottest spot. Uh, about 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 83 degrees. And that is the hottest spot on here, right at the connection. So the most amount of heat should be coming from the Neo Charge, so let's check that. All right here's the Neo Charge here. I'm gonna test this. And the hottest spot on here is about 110 degrees, 111. Let's just test some other spots on here, this side. So this, the charger side is showing 91 degrees. 
and the the plug that goes into the wall that's showing 80 degrees so surprisingly it's not that much heat that's being generated i thought it'd be a little a lot hotter than that at least 120 degrees so uh but at 110 and this has been running for almost four and a half hours that's pretty good actually that's really good it's not drawing that much heat at all i think it was just as hot when we were running a dry around the same temperature I tested earlier. Uh, I guess that's yesterday now. Uh, when the dryer was running, it was around the same thing. Even after it was off, it was hovering around 80, 90 degrees. So uh, yeah, I, that's not much temperature rise. I'm just gonna double check it again just to be sure because I'm surprised it's so low. Okay, now it's showing up at a 114 degrees. And so the hottest I'm ever read right now is 120, but it's uh, fluctuating and jumping around between 111 and 120 degrees. So I'm gonna check it back uh, in a few hours when I'm ready to leave and then uh, go check it again. I expect it probably be around around 120 or hotter. That's what I expect after that length the time, but we'll see. And I'll see y'all back. Okay, I'm back and I'm about to be ready to head out and we're gonna look at the numbers so far to see what we have. And so, Right now I have, I'm at 232 miles and it's charging, it's still charging 11 miles an hour. It's added 76 miles of range and it added 34.5 uh, kilowatt hours to the pack. You just look at the charging summary session and 35.5 kilowatts and it's been charging for six hours and 56 minutes. So for almost seven hours it's been going. And so I'm at, you know, state of charge is at 75 percent and so what i'm going to do next is test my take my heat gun i'm going to check the temperatures of these different things and i have this set to fahrenheit i'm going to switch it to celsius also so you can see the differences here yeah so the hottest spot is on here is showing yeah, about 74 degrees now let's check this the rivian uh charger here and this is a portable charger and this is coming in around 85 degrees 86 degrees and let's check this here and it's showing around 87 degrees fahrenheit at the hottest point point. and here you're getting about 115 degrees fahrenheit 116 just trying to find the hottest spots on here and that seems to be the hottest spot right here and so that's what i just this is called it 116 at the highest number and Got the charge, the the uh, the the outlet, the plug for the uh, that's going to the out to the charger. That is 94 degrees. Let's check this cable here, and that's coming in at around 90 degrees. And we can see here that the hottest spot you're looking at around 46 degrees Celsius, and right here you're looking at around 33 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees. So really not that hot, and this is the, uh, the actual uh, box here. You're looking around 31, 32 degrees Celsius. And then right here, you see these temperatures get cooler and cooler as the farther away we get from the uh, Neo charge. And you're looking at around 29 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius here. And then just check this, and you're looking at around 31 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the, the operating temperature is well within the range. And so if you're concerned about wires melting and anything like that, that shouldn't be a concern of yours, uh, especially if you're using correct wires. So, uh, but yeah, I'll see you all back a little later. Hello everyone, I'm back and I did a few more days of testing and I'm just gonna give you some of my findings and some of the things I would do differently if I did this again. So first of all, we have this here and I installed this. I'll put the link to that video in the description where I did the full install of this. This is a heavy duty charging outlet specifically for EV charging. And if I was to do this again, I would not put this right here because after I tested it multiple times, it, this, this is not really generating a lot of heat. The majority of the heat is coming from the Neo charge. So the best practice may be to update your dryer outlet with a heavy duty plug, uh, just because it's gonna be going through longer uh, cycles where it's gonna be producing more heat. But even still, after I tested that, that still wasn't generating that much heat. But the reason is, is because I made sure I reduced the amount of amps that were coming through here. So now I've reduced this down to 24. And so that is one thing that you definitely wanna do. So you wanna make sure you're not putting more than 80% of the current or the amps 
through here. So in this case, it's 24 on the 30 amp circuit. Even lower would be better. So if you're, if you're afraid about fire risk, uh, just reduce the amount of current that your vehicle can accept. An even better option would be a wall mounted charger and to actually go into it internally and set it at a lower amperage, uh, which we did when I did my sister's install. And I do have one I'm gonna be installing here. So with this Remy and portable charger, it's automatically gonna call for 34 amps. And it's gonna trip the breaker. And my wife was charging a vehicle the other day and that's exactly what was happening. I woke up and I heard some clicking and I looked and the Neo charge was glowing red. And I came outside and looked in the vehicle and it was pulling 34 amps and it was tripping the breaker and the Neo charge. So, uh, but that's good. It does have the safety in there to prevent that from happening. But uh, they can also delay the amount of charge your vehicle is going to get because it's going to be going on and going off. And also I'm going to be doing a video where I discuss safety tips on EV charging and just some things to look out for. And that's whether you're going to do it yourself or have your electrician do it. Because I was on the phone with one electrician and uh, yeah, uh, I just would say that not all electricians are created equal. And if you're informed about what things should look like, you'd be better off. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I thought the Neo Charge performed a lot better than I thought it would. It didn't get it anywhere near as hot as I thought it would. And also allowed me to rethink as far as how would I do a setup if I had to do it all over again. But if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. But that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me once again. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.